Hi, I'm author Miranda Pop, and this is Allegro, my rescue kitten. Allegro means fast, and what I'm gonna do is really quickly, I'm going to read you the opening pages of some of my new books that aren't yet released. And so you'll get a sneak peek for World Read Aloud Day, one of my favorite days of the year. First up, we have a read aloud from a book called Peace. Peace is written by Baptiste Paul and Miranda Paul and Esteli Mesa. So I'm just gonna give you a little look here of the opening. You're gonna see peace on a tree in a bunch of different languages. You see a dove that flies on every page of the book. And here we are, opening pages. Peace is a hello, a smile, a hug. Peace can be bold or quiet and snug. That's your sneak peek of the book, Peace. Beyond Discoveries from the Outer Reaches of Space by Miranda Paul, illustrated by Sija Hong. I love these illustrations and I love like the transit method right on the cover there. So many cool things to look at in the background of these illustrations. This book actually starts before the title page. So we know much about the mountains and oceans of earth spinning with us around the flaring sun. We know something of the space in between where swift Mercury and sizzling Venus track our sky. We've become familiar with our closest neighbors, the cratered moon, desert red Mars, the rubble of asteroids. We've swooped by Jupiter's swirling storm, Saturn's chunky ringlets, and crowds of circling moons. We've sweat past sideways Uranus and windy Neptune, skirting the outer reaches of our solar system. But we want to go farther. We want to know more. We long to explore. We dream of discovering what lies beyond. Dun, dun. And that's where the book actually starts. Beyond takes you very, very far into our universe. And now I have a special bonus book for World Read Aloud Day. It is not one that I wrote, but it was written by Baptiste Paul. So you can see the creators here. It's called To Carnival, a celebration in St. Lucia. And I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek of this book that's also not out yet. Look at these colorful end papers. Doesn't it just make you wanna celebrate? Manger, eat Melba, calls Mamma and Lucy. Tomorrow's a big day. The grown-ups make plans for morning. Carnival! Melba tries to listen, but her mind wanders. Soca music thumps and steel pan clanks. People dance in feathery costumes. Judges crown winners. Melba breathes and smells. Fried bakes and chicken smothered in green seasoning. Mmm. Melba, did you hear? Mamma and Lucy's dr voice draws Melba back to the porch. Melba nods. Hurry to bed or you won't wake up in time. Bonsoir. Melba slides under the net, but her eyes won't close. Her excitement turns like the sea until the moon is high in the sky. When Melba wakes, sunshine spills through the window. The house is quiet, too quiet. Where is everybody? In town, yawned cousin Zara, feeding the baby. Tauntaun said anyone who wanted a ride had to leave by seven o'clock. A lump as hard as a sea grape forms in Melba's throat. But Tauntaun chose my idea for their band's costume. I need to see if they win. Relax, Zara says. He left bus money. Hmm, I wonder if she'll make it to Carnival on time. And that, again, is from To Carnival. I hope you had a great World Read Aloud Day. I hope you're reading lots of books, meeting a lot of great authors. I'm going to go head on to Zoom and meet some more classrooms. Bye. Happy World Read Aloud Day, everybody.